are you wondering if the new Sony ZV-E10 Mark II actually has got inbuilt image stabilization? Well, I got some extremely bad news for you. This camera does not have IBIS and that's completely ridiculous, especially since this camera is really mean for loggers and people who just want to record a good quality video. But wait, why am I complaining that the ZV-E10 doesn't have IBIS since the Mark I ZV-E10 also didn't have that? The problem is the price of this new camera is completely ridiculous. Check out the price of the ZV-E10 Mark I. Uh, 550 euros for the body where I am. And now let's check out the price of the new ZV-E10 Mark II. Literally two times higher, exactly two times higher. What the hell? So if Sony is actually charging uh, for this ZV-E10 Mark II just almost as much as for the A6700, which is way more advanced camera, why doesn't have the ZV-E10 also have the IBIS? such as this camera it's literally 240 euro difference only and that's like maybe less than 20 percent actually and that's again they have completely crippled that zve 10 uh, mark uh, to basically um, perhaps maybe to sell even more of these i don't know really also compared to the much more advanced and higher end a6700 this does not have electronic viewfinder also doesn't have mechanical shutter it doesn't have the ai chip of that camera so it's basically crippled in a lot of ways but still they are asking pretty much the same price as for that camera by the way i do have some good news about this new camera it does have a new lens actually uh, this uh, kit lens which has got uh, a bit better optical image stabilization so i guess uh, footage will be better than on the old kit lenses at least that's good but still why couldn't you include the inbuilt image stabilization if you are charging so much for this camera and really this is 2024 again you are completely skimping on this feature which is a major deal breaker for a lot of people especially since this is a video camera first and not a photography uh, camera first so this is completely ridiculous really also another way they have crippled this camera is by not giving us 4k 120 as on that more advanced a6700 which they took the same sensor from again completely ridiculous they have crippled this camera on purpose 